I'm starting to think that the internet might not be a totally unalloyed good thing for society. Yeah, yeah. You guys know what this is, right? It's a Rorschach test, or the inkblot test. Same difference. Psychologists use it, or at least used to use it in days of yore, to better understand how your brain worked and what was bothering you at any time. So, if you saw a butterfly in the image I just showed you, it meant you felt light and airy. And if you saw a boiling pit of fire, it meant you were angry or hot or something. Sidebar, I am not, technically speaking, a psychologist. You, you may have caught on to that. <clears throat> Which brings me to the death of Jeffrey Epstein. Yes, I know, not the best segue, but you try to find an easy way into talking about this subject. There, there aren't any, I try. Epstein, in case you have been on another planet for the past few months, or years, is the wealthy financier accused of a series of sex crimes related to a sexual pyramid scheme of abuse involving dozens of underage girls. He was found dead in his jail cell in a New York federal prison in early August. Law enforcement sources have described Epstein's death as a suicide. Attorney General William Barr said in the days following Epstein's death that there were, quote, serious irregularities at the prison where the billionaire was being held, and that the Justice Department would be opening an investigation to get to the bottom of all of this. Complicating an already very complicated story is that Epstein counted among his friends and acquaintances a number of high-profile politicians, including the current occupant of the White House. So private citizen Donald Trump hosted Epstein at his Mar-a-Lago resort in the 1990s. And in a 2002 interview with New York Magazine, Trump said this about Epstein, quote, I've known Jeff for 15 years. Terrific guy. He's a lot of fun to be with. It is said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side, end quote. Which, uh, well, yeah. But Epstein also has ties to former Democratic President Bill Clinton. In 2002, Clinton flew on Epstein's private jet to Africa. It was one of four trips that Clinton's office said the former president took on Epstein's jet, which all included stops related to work with the nonprofit Clinton Foundation, all according to a Clinton spokesman. Also in 2002, Clinton said this of Epstein, quote, Jeffrey is both a highly successful financier and a committed philanthropist with a keen sense of global markets and an in-depth knowledge of 21st century science, end quote. <clears throat> In a statement following Epstein's arrest in July 2019, the former president's tone, well, it changed. Quote, President Clinton knows nothing about the terrible crimes Jeffrey Epstein pleaded guilty to in Florida some years ago, or those with which he has been recently charged in New York, Clinton, through a spokesman, said. So what the hell does any of this have to do with a Rorschach test, is what you're likely asking yourself right now, which is what I'm getting to. Thanks for waiting. In the immediate aftermath of Epstein's death, the internet's ever-growing conspiracy wing spun itself into action with two main branches of thought. On the political left, the story went like this. Epstein was close to Trump. Trump's former labor secretary, Alexander Acosta, agreed to a plea deal for Epstein in Florida back in 2007 that allowed the financier to avoid prosecution and spend just over one year in jail. Epstein was murdered because of what he knew about Trump. Now, on the political right, the story went like this. Epstein was closer to Bill Clinton than was publicly known. Documents revealed in the days before Epstein's death contained explosive allegations about former Democratic New Mexico governor and one-time Clinton ally Bill Richardson and his closeness to the billionaire. Richardson, by the way, has categorically denied those allegations. Epstein was murdered because of what he knew about the Clintons. Now, the latter theory got a major boost from none other than Donald J. Trump, who retweeted the thoughts of actor and comedian Terrence K. Williams shortly after Epstein's death was reported. Wrote Williams on Twitter, quote, Died of suicide on 24-7 Suicide Watch? Yeah, right. How does that happen? Hashtag Jeffrey Epstein had information on Bill Clinton and now he's dead, end quote. Worth noting, neither Williams nor Trump provided any evidence for their claim that the Clintons were somehow responsible for Epstein's death. This is my surprise face. Epstein's death amounts to an internet political Rorschach test. See, I got there. You can see what you want to see in it. There's just enough uncertainty in what happened to allow people to slot his death 
into their preconceived notions about wealth, power, and politics in this country. In other words, you get out of it exactly what you put into it. You hate the Clintons? They must have had something to do with this. Hate Trump? Ditto! So, what's the truth? Well, honestly, we may never know. And unfortunately for all of us, lots and lots of political people on the internet don't even really care about that truth. And that is the point. We make New Point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.